I'm Luke Schroeder. I'm Sioux City's own pumpkin guy. I do tattoos and illustrations, whatever I can get my hands on. This is a, not a pumpkin, but a Hubbard squash. Big gray, green, weird looking gourds. And they carve beautifully. But I like this one so much that I wanted to keep him. So he's in a fish tank with a solution. And as long as you don't jostle him or do, do too much black magic with him, he's gonna stay like that. You can see it's buoyant, so I've got chains holding it there. I, I think it looks cool, but he, he does want to float to the top. If I don't disturb this, this is what it'll look like for years. How long did that take you to carve? This one only like two and a half to three hours. These, these things carve beautifully. I mean, it's very similar to a pumpkin, but there's something else about them. Uh, their density and uh, how much depth I can get out of them. Like, they're so, they're so thick, you can really play around. Go through when you want. I wanted to there, because it's, I think it's a nice gross effect up the, up the mouth there. But you can really do a lot of depth with these. And they are vaguely head shaped too, so I could have taken advantage of it and carved the whole head, but I like to show that it's a vegetable. Uh, yeah, heavy for its size, like this one. I know it's a heavy boy. I can probably go pretty deep. This is usually a pretty good indicator, a big thick stone. Okay. Can can I let you know that it's gonna give you some room? I think I'll mess around with this guy. Go ahead. And this is usually the, the guy I start with. What kind of tool is it? This is like usually called a duck head. Yeah, you might want to wear some eye protection as well as a mask. <laughs> this is a good pumpkin. It looks like. I can tell. Usually the more fight they put up on this part the better. They're going to be picking pumpkin out of this place for months. So I just kind of start sketching. I want the nose to be the furthest thing out. I'm going to make this guy a little, a little mad. All you got to do is have some basic knowledge of human anatomy and facial structure. I don't really go with a formula unless I'm trying to teach somebody. So pay attention, kids. But I'm gonna try to dazzle you with speed. See, that's a dense pumpkin, boy. Yeah, I used to uh, think that that way, like it'd, it'd be such a letdown, but it's kind of nice. It's a it's a lesson you didn't think you're gonna learn from this is, is letting go. And you, when you walk back and say, "There it is, I, I did it, it's done." Take good photos and then watch a part of you go. It's kind of nice. I don't know how to explain that. I'm not a poet. But <laughs> that's a, it's just a, a cool thing because I work in permanence otherwise, I do tattoos. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, those are going to go on the ground with you. So what do you prefer? This little tool is what I call Excalibur, but the guy who made it calls it a caveman tool. I think it was heavy metal and horror and so rock and roll. I think I was doing art anyway, but it definitely, like, I, I still have stuff from, like, when I was six that was, he liked Motley Crue, you know, <laughs> kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> it was already there. There you are. Come on over here, let's look at some details.
This little ribbon tool like this drags out what I want, or don't want, rather. Those are surprisingly sharp, it seems like. Not really. Uh, I've got some that are sharp, like for the final stage of this, but these are just little loops of steel. For the most part, they're not sharp enough to like, touch you. Is this, this is like, sort of like carving into like a wet organic foam. Now, I mean, I've got a, I've got a box full of tools. I probably use six until some circumstance calls for another one. It's having the fundamental structure up here, being able to guide your hand with not power, it's just finesse. And, and that kind of restraint actually, except for when I'm blowing the cover off of this thing, that can, this makes your arm and wrist sore, just trying to gently guide it and hold it. But that's the dance and I kind of like it. So this, this knife is real sharp. Nice little hook knife here. But this is where we can get fine details. The payoff. Make the make the life come into it. It's the final point. And some pumpkins won't let you go too far into it. Like this one, I think I could really go deep, but I don't have to to get pull off the face I'm doing here. <laughs> I'll take that compliment. <laughs> you got a fighter. Come on, get out of there. You got a little mischievous. I like those kind. <laughs> this is like carbon fibrous butter. But when they're real cold, they just start flaking apart and you're not going to get a great result and it's just some breeds of pumpkins too I grew a bunch of pumpkins this year and they all crossbred so I got a bunch of mutants I'm waiting to find out how they taste or carve wife likes to cook them so we we have to fight over that's a carving one that's a all right that's a cooking one <laughs> oh, let's give this guy some age don't laugh at me, I still have a ill all count. I don't use three all the time. I never get rid of it. You got a bit of a wily grimace. He's a handsome man. One final little tip here. Okay. Just get yourself a scotch bright. Hey, that's that's the sound of a tattoo. <laughs> Scotch Bright pads. Okay. Usually I would spray this with some water and get it moistened, but it puts on a really nice smooth finish. Gets all the tool marks worked down. That's such a nice effect. Oh yeah, now he looks real fleshy, buttery smooth. Well, look at that, I got one done for you. Yes, you did. <laughs> I don't know how long that took me. I know. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, usually I spray these down with water, but I'm pretty happy with that. That was a pretty quick one. Not too bad, eh? You've done this before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw, you know, I saw, guys on the Food Network competing and doing stuff like this. It wasn't that educational, but I saw sort of the method how it was done, so I I was broke, 
and I made my own tools out of hacksaw blades and cardboard handles and stuff. I think I've said this before, but yeah, I, I made the ricketiest tools out of out of stuff, and I just started trying, and then you got to learn more and find the better pottery tools and make modify those a little bit to make them even work better and then I actually worked with like the best in the world last year and a little bit the year before and I, I should have tried to do that a long time ago but I learned so much from them got a couple of brilliant guys from Russia like unbelievable talent these guys have I never would have thought a tattoo artist would would be blessed like I am in Sioux City you know, to do what I do. And then this other stupid thing I do, I'm a 40 year old man, and I can't believe that this is, this is even gonna take me somewhere where I couldn't have dreamed, it's crazy.